due respect, knows in the history of this house it has never happened because money, money bills are subject to the provisions of Article 114. Two Honorable Speaker, this is not the first finance bill we are processing as a house. Neither is it the last. But filibustering is also not the first time we have seen it. And it's not the last time we have seen it, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I hear the Honorable Leader of Minority say that we don't need the concurrence of the National Treasury. And to an extent, I agree with him. We are not under the direction of the National Treasury at all. But I want to confirm that in line with the provisions of Article 114 of the Constitution, the Chair of the Finance Committee has been able to engage and even after the House Business Committee this morning, Honorable Speaker, I was in a meeting with the Chair of the Finance Committee and a whole delegation from the National Treasury to consider the, all the amendments that have been proposed both by the committee and indeed, I can tell you, there were clauses, amendments that have been proposed by the committee which on consultation with the National Treasury, some were dropped. There are amendments. If you go through the supplementary order, Paper Honorable Speaker, you will see the amendments by the member for Homa, by the Honorable Kaluma, that have been allowed following that consultation. The amendments by the Honorable Undo, Honorable Naisula, who is seated right at the back, Honorable Mbui, Honorable Aluoch, Honorable Mule. Therefore, there are myriad of uh, many amendments that have been allowed following that consultation. And therefore, that's what I was saying. It may not necessarily be very accurate to say that uh, there are those that have been condemned and had. Two, Honorable Speaker, or three, the question of public participation. In the history of legislative processes in this country since the enactment of the new constitution, Honorable Speaker, no other bill, none whatsoever, not even the infamous political parties bill, which we took through winnowing, none has had a more rigorous public participation exercise than this finance bill, Honorable Speaker. And I must commend the chair and the finance committee and members who sit in the finance committee from both sides of the political divide. Because I know there are diligent members of the finance committee in Azimio who sat through the public participation. There are many members within the Kenya Kwanza coalition who sat for long hours through public participation. For the first time, Honorable Speaker, I have seen members of parliament, as Honorable Junet was saying, not just sitting up to midnight, sitting even on Sundays. At one point, Honorable Speaker, 